Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be removing the MG MG3 door mirror. In order to remove the door mirror, we need to remove the inner door trim panel. Where the door handle is, there's a little cover. Remove the cover and there will be a Phillips screw there. And then on the inner part of the door trim panel, there will be another little cover and there will also be a Phillips screw over there. When you open the door as well, on this side, there will be another Phillips screw. And then where the door open handle is, there will be another little cover with also another Phillips screw. In order to remove the door trim, you'll need to get in between the door trim with a plastic tool so you do not damage the door or the trim itself. The trim is held on by clips and these clips can break when you're removing which is a possibility and keep that in mind. Now with your hand get in between, pull the bottom part of the door trim out first to unclip and then lift it upwards to detach. I will put a video at the end of this video to show you a tip to refitting the door trim. It's from a different vehicle but the idea is the same. Now with this cover we will need to remove partially. Press onto those clips there and then we will detach the plug. This is the reason why we need to remove the door trim. As for the mirror assembly, on the outside there's a little cover which you will need to remove. And underneath this cover there will be two T30 torque screws. And once you remove these screws, the door mirror will come out of place. And keep watching to see the door trim refit. Now we will get white clips from the shell side if there's any left on the shell when you're using the door trim and put those white clips onto the door trim. So as you can see over here there is a various uh, clips. The reason why is because they slip on and slide on onto the door trim and you want when you're putting it back on it's easier to have them on the door trim instead of the door shell. And once you do that here's the how to perform putting on the door trim first you want to put the top side and slide it in downwards into the window seal and then once that slides in if you put the clips onto the trim side it'll just be a push on kind of effect and you know a few slaps here and there and this is pretty much applicable to all vehicles even though this one's from a Citroen C4 Picasso Thank you for watching, I hope you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, comment and most importantly subscribe to support the channel and we will see you in our upcoming videos.